I would sing a verse of I ain't no way style, but I, I, I won't I won't do that. I want to call to the, the microphone now, and, and the Lord, please forgive me, because I was hurrying and trying to move things along. We did not do invocation. But to bring the invocation and his message for this moment, I'm really so honored to have one of the pro great prophetic voices of our time. Young voice, energetic, energetic voice, institution building voice rainbow coalition building votes none other than the new president of the national rainbow coalition the reverend dr freddie haynes thank you so much shall we pray god of our weary years and silent tears you've brought us thus far along the way thank you for the marching feet of our ancestors who threatened to march in 1941 under a philip randolph Thank you for the marching feet of ancestors in 63 who came to Washington, D.C. And for Martin King demanding that this nation finally cash a check, a check of reparations, a check of justice. We thank you now for the leadership of Ron Daniels, of Julianne Malvo, all of these who have assembled. Bless now our efforts to receive what you morally have set in motion whenever an injustice has taken place. Restorative justice is a part of your justice agenda. So bless this nation to wake up to that reality. We ask it in the name of our resurrected revolutionary, Jesus Christ, amen. amen. We stand here symbolically in front of the White House a house that was built for free by the bloodied hands of our ancestors. President Biden campaigned for this very White House on a moral agenda where he declared there was a need to redeem the soul of America. I'm a preacher, so you don't mind if I unpack redemption. Redemption repentance and reparation are connected they're connected because this is a country that was born in the sin of a hostile genocidal takeover of indigenous land and shaped by anti-black white supremacy this is a country that spent in the aftermath of emancipation decades plundering black communities and ensuring that we were economically exploited and excluded. And so how can you talk about redemption without reparation? How can you talk about redemption without understanding there's a need to repair what was once broken? And so we come here 60 years after Dr. King said, we've come to cash a check because We've seen the books, America. We've seen the books. We've checked out the P and L statement. And the bottom line is, there is no profit of the strongest economy in the world without a country having been built for free by black Americans. And so we've seen the P and L statement, a P and L statement where we made cotton king. Cotton was to America what oil was to Saudi Arabia. We built this thing for free. We've seen the P&L statement. As a matter of fact, in that P&L statement, we were excluded. Sadly, as we watched persons become a part of the middle class because they had access to FHA loans. We watched persons come from the, from the uh, from war torn areas, and they receive a GI Bill that we were excluded from, and so we've seen the PNL statement. As a matter of fact, let's look at the PNL statement today. You don't have a culture in this country without the same people who built it for free, and so I'm simply saying that we've seen the PNL statement, and as a moral leader. I'm saying, Mr. President, you are so right. We got to redeem the soul of this nation because the future of this country 
depends on you understanding the moral thing to do is to repair what has been broken. If you repair what has been broken, then you'll discover that morally, be not deceived, God is not mocked, whatsoever you sow, that shall you also reap. We've got to understand there's a connection between redeeming the soul of the nation, repairing what has been broken, and then renewal in a nation desperately in need of restoration. And so we've come here to stand in front of a house occupied by a president who said, I want to redeem the soul of this nation to say in front of this house built by our ancestors for free. There is no redemption without reparation. Redemption without reparation is sounding brass and tinkling cymbal. We've come to cash our check because we've seen the PL statement. All right.